He came into the finals averaging 28 and 7. And he still got the seven rebounds, but only 13 points. Here's his numbers by quarter. Uh, first quarter, okay. And then the rest of the game, just kind of nothing. Footnote, 13 plus scoreless minutes from late in the first quarter to early in the third quarter. Just dribbling on the baseline and passing the ball. So, Nick, were you surprised by Jimmy's quiet night? I was very surprised if, from my expectations going into the game. Going into the game, I thought he was going to be excellent and the biggest reason the Heat won. I was not surprised at all if you'd asked me midway through the second quarter. Because if you've been watching Jimmy all postseason, mm -hmm. there's really only one game where he seemed to not have it and then all of a sudden had it. And that was the Grant Williams game. <coughs> the game where Grant and he went nose to nose and then Jimmy had the nice flourish at the end. He has an odd tendency in this postseason and even in the postseason's past with Miami of some nights it almost seems like his just going into an approach is I'm not going to have it and I'm going to just you know, drive and pass or just get the ball out of my hands. I did not think that's what who he was going to be last night. But you could see pretty early on that's who he was going to be. Yeah. And the zero free throws, Brew, is a killer. And it's not because, again, aside from that, what I thought was the clear path foul in the open court, they weren't missing right. calls. He just wasn't attacking the basket. He wasn't doing that patented Jimmy Butler up fake that he seems to get fouled on more than anybody in the league. And maybe it was uh, he st once Struess was missing, he's like, man, he's got to make one. I got to get him involved. And then it just became a ball rolling downhill. I don't know. But <coughs> they can't win with him playing this way obviously, and they haven't won all postseason with him winning this way. Let's get real. Thank you. Right? About what? And this is not, I'm not saying this as a criticism. He's in your club superstar. Yeah. You said yesterday he's a, one of the five best players in the league or in the postseason. Yeah. Can we even imagine if LeBron James, even now at 38, F48. If Steph Curry, if Luka Doncic, if Joel Embiid, yeah. if Giannis, if Jokic, well, Embiid any seen. of these guys had this type of game, and what did we do with Embiid? We ripped him. We wouldn't be asking, heck, Jason Tatum. If yeah, Jason we, Tatum goes out and does this, we does don't ask. All the time. How surprised are you? <laughs> what happened? What happened to Jason? We rip him. Because we, that tells you right there that as good as Jimmy Butler is, and I think he's a Hall of Famer, mm -hmm. he's not on that level. See, this is the he's prisoner not of on the that, No, it's stuff. not. It's the finals. Why, why, why aren't we why, – why are you so – he just did no, 13 but, points. Be, I understand that part. If Luka did that – now, I know Luka's your son and all that, but <laughs> – you would do you understand what I'm saying? But that saw, any other superstar does this when LeBron did this, hold on. he was ripped to the, shreds. The LeBron, yes, but the uh, so much of the LeBron conversation is like insane and toxic. How about and Dur if Durant, to, if did Durant that. scores 13 points in game one of the finals, okay, but it, we're Oh, hold on yeah, a second. He just had a bad Hold on night. a second. But this is – wait, wait, wait. I mean, what are we it's saying? Wait a second. Dur but this is where I think we can be a little unfair because you're right. Durant has not been criticized on that level in years because he hasn't played a single second it past round two in years. So the idea that Jimmy Butler – like, so the I think the fair example is Jason Tatum. And Jason Tatum had a very similar game in game six of the NBA Finals last year. And he got no, destroyed no, in the he, finals. Wilds is still referring no. to the 100 And turnovers. you think it's crazy. He did not get destroyed. Jason Tatum he came into the year as one of the MVP favorites. Nah. That was about a Steph Curry well, coronation. Well, that's a whole, after a that, whole other regular season. That was season. about a Steph Curry coronation. That was not a, oh, my God, Jason Tatum doesn't have it. We were talking about how he's 24 years old. Well, that's a, but that's the, a factor. I, Jimmy's 33. I, I understand that part of it. The point that I am making is, is that – the idea that we, when I say we are prisoner of the moment, we would we all agree that before last night, Jimmy Butler across the entire league had been the second best guy this postseason. Yes. Okay. But I wasn't saying he's one of the five best players in the I league in the playoffs. I, I, I'm no. not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. 
Why well, we showed you the Jamal Murray numbers. Jamal Murray's out here cooking everybody, and because he doesn't have a nickname and he doesn't have a Michelob commercial, he just kind of flies under the coffee. radar. No. And, and are you convinced? You I love Jimmy. I love Jimmy now? Butler. But if you score 13 points and yeah, if your shot's not going in, in and you don't go to the line, yes. and no, we're just like, we're, oh, not, okay. we're not yeah. sitting here well, talking politely about any other superstar, anybody else in club superstar. Are we doing that? No, hold on. So what? Do you, so, so you guys are mad that I'm not saying Jimmy Butler was terrible? Is that what? Is that the bro? Well, he was. Okay, Jimmy. Butler. I think maybe the, by his own estimation. I I don't think anyone denies that Jimmy Butler played a terrible game. The, the question is, was I surprised by it? I said I was very surprised by. What but I said going into the game, I thought he'd be the best player in the game. But you could see midway through it, he didn't have it. If you guys, if, if the if the if the thirst here is for us to say, hey, this guy who we're, we've said is carrying an untalented team to the NBA Finals, who beat Giannis and then beat Jason Tatum, he had a bad game one. You know what? He's no, not as good as we thought. My point is, if anybody else did that. They would be getting criticized. Bru, what are we? Are we? Are and, we not criticizing him? What are you talking? I don't about? think you are. I, I think you're trying to explain why he had an off night. I, now, what? Look, I, I'll give it because I said this yesterday. I think Jimmy is a bit worn down, and and I'm not questioning his physical, you know, stamina. But I'm saying the pressure. We I've talked about how everybody else, all the other contenders, have two guys. And including Jokic, because Jamal Murray has really emerged. Jimmy doesn't have that. Bam is very good, but I'd say he's the least of the two second guys on mm -hmm. all these contenders. And that pressure to carry a team all postseason through t the number one and number two seeds in not just the East, the oh, league, the league yeah. wears on you. And look at Jimmy, the last six games versus the first uh, 12 yes. games of the playoffs. He's shooting 39% over his last six playoff games. He's wearing down. That's And that's well, what I that's, said would have, was going into yesterday's game, and yesterday was yeah. evidence if of it. If that's true, they're dead. I'm not they're, saying he won't have another. He'll have a, I think he'll have a spectacular game or two, or maybe a few. But I think he's wearing down from what he was early in the postseason. Okay. Let's do the Jamal Murray conversation. I want to, I think it's a good one. Yeah, you know why? Because Jamal Murray's great. 26, 6, and 10. Here's his playoff numbers. 28 points. This is the entire postseason. He's shooting 48% from the field. He's shooting 39% from three. This is six straight 25-point games. Brew, do you think he's underrated? Well, I don't know if he's underrated. He's underappreciated, but I think there are legitimate reasons. One is the injury. Right? Like, he missed the first, the last season and a half, kind essentially. Of out of sight, out of mind. If, if he had not been injured coming out of that bubble, mm -hmm. when he averaged 26 points a game, yeah. in, more than Jokic, by the way, in helping them get to the Western Conference Finals, when he outshot Donovan Mitchell, who was, yep. you know, in, in everybody's MVP, you know, he was on the periphery of the MVP conversation, but he was there. He outshot him, went 50, 42, 50 in three straight games yeah. to get past Mitchell in Utah. If he hadn't gotten hurt, again, I said Denver, who knows who how knows? far they would have gone, different. but he would have been on our radar now. Mm -hmm. and, and the second reason is this. Like Jimmy, and I'll give you credit for saying this last week, he steps it up big time in the playoffs. Regular season, he's a 20, 21-point scorer. 100%. But in the playoffs, look at what he does – he, he's one of four people in history to have increased their scoring average by seven points Shout or more. In I didn't know he was in Cliff's category. <laughs> Cliff Hagen was, Cliff great Hagen was yeah. a baller great back there. And in the playoffs, he yeah. turned it up. I caught the tail end of Cliff's I think it was St. Louis Did Hawks. He really? <laughs> but I think no, it was but, but, there, but see, look at that. Now, Reggie Jackson, obviously, but Kareem, my point is. In the regular season, he's a great player, but in the playoffs, he becomes something special. Okay. And I said it, Nick, they win this series. He's – look, the West is full of yeah, guards. He's, he, but he's an automatic he, all-star next well, year. Too many plays well. Sure. Should be. Uh, <clears throat> I think he's properly rated. Well, let's just – can we – hold up. Let's do it. Throw up club superstar. Tell me who he's better than. Tell me, we'll be in what? line. I well, okay, in line. no, so throw it up. So is he better than you? You think he's better than SGA? Because I don't. 
Uh, Do you Anthony think he's Edwards part of the- knocking on the door of Anthony Edwards? Okay, and so, also there's no so, limit so to wait, how many guys hold, can be in line. Hold on, wait a second. Wait, all right. So that so then there's you would have him reaction. as like the 19th yeah. best player in the league. I'm just saying he. But that's what everybody line. thinks. Well, I think you made a good comparison. I don't know if it was yesterday, but Clay Thompson. Like yes. that's who he. Yes. If they win this series, but and Clay, better Clay, than Clay. should have been a top. Better than no, better he than already Clay. Already got him better now. than Clay. Hold on, better, better, better than this. No, He's but I'm talking Clay about Clay. It's a different age. type, but it's a different. I don't. I, the, the numbers might be similar, but I view them as very different well, type they're, of guys. They're, they're different. He's creating style. and spinning. Yes, making He's weird shots. Clay was, and package, Clay was no a dominant or a very good defensive player and the second best shooter ever. Is he better than Donovan Wilds? No, let's actually. This is important that we actually put proper. I like Donovan Mitchell. Okay, how about someone who's not in line? Is he I, better than is he better than Jalen Brunson? Yes. You have to say yes. yes. You, why do you hold up? Why? Because he's in the finals. No, so, he, he's better. Hold, wait a second. As he's as not like as the man, Wild. Jalen so Brunson's the, the best but guy just because, on the team. Just because Joker's that the man that, that we just have to forget seed. about him? No. no. Like the, my I, my issue is a media critique, and it's mm-hmm. odd because I'm in the media. Yeah. But the entire finals was sold as Joker versus Playoff Jimmy. And Playoff Jimmy has numbers very similar to Denver's second guy, and he's not being discussed. Because, right, hold on. First of all, he's obviously being discussed. People talked about he all if he should win Western Conference Finals MVP. He has been get him a commercial. He has then. been okay. Well, talk to his marketing agent. But the 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 the, num, the point you made five minutes ago was that he's better than Jimmy Butler. And I'm here to say I'm not saying he's that, better than Jimmy that's Butler. That's what you said. I'm saying he's performing on a par with Jimmy and Butler. I'm saying and he had that's, a better game one. That is one. not correct. That is well, flat I, I, and not correct. I, I think there's that a couple is, things. You brought up Jalen Brunson, and, and it applies to Jimmy Butler as well. They're both in the number one role. Well, that's my point. That, I agree, but that works both ways. I agree that there's more responsibility. The defense is focused on you. You more so that they, so too. But, yes, yes. you get sure. more opportunity. We haven't seen Jamal as the man, and we may never. In fact, if he's smart. He'll stay with sure. Jokic his whole and, career. And I'm not trying but we may not see him ever as that guy getting all those and opportunities. That's, but I don't know that we – Jalen Brunson a year ago, who knew he had all this? That, that's all right? that's totally Like, Jamal fair. Murray needs to be given his props. It, it, but I feel like he is being given his props. But if we are – but something – there is, there is this tendency in media where people go from – underrated, mm-hmm. immediately skip over properly rated, and then become overrated. And if and if the argument is that, yeah, Jamal Murray could be doing what Jimmy Butler did this postseason for the Miami Heat, I'm here to tell you I think that is flatly incorrect. If you think the Denver Nuggets would be worse, if, 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 if we flip-flopped God. Jimmy and Jamal, the Nuggets are worse? Of course not. Are the Heat there? Of course not. Is he one of – is he proving to be unequivocally – one of the 30 best players in the league? Yes. Probably one of the 25 best? Yes. Definitively one of the 20 best? I don't know. I think he's somewhere in that J- Jalen Brown 19 to 24 range of players well, he, in the Jaylen league. Jalen Brown was second team all NBA. So if he's, yeah. that's a, a come up from where he was before the playoffs began. Sure. sure. Okay. We'll leave it there. Agree to disagree. <laughs> What, what's James Harden doing? Is he going back to Houston? Now that's one. Would you rather have him or James Harden? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.